Welcome back to Montana this morning. So right now we have the finished product of the delicious ribs that Victoria was just working on there. And everything smells so good. This is way different than ribs though. I know that the brisket is something special. Why is brisket just a special piece of meat? Uh, the brisket is um, naturally, it's a really tough piece of meat. And you've got to give this thing a lot of love if you want it to be delicious. Okay. Um, the thing to know about brisket, there are two cuts. So this is the fattier cut on this. This is called the point. Uh, the, it was sat on top of another piece with the grain running that way uh, called the flat, which is a leaner piece. And these are right from the front of the cow. These are cow bumpers here, so they are tough. Um, I'd like to have the brisket separated. Uh, the reason is you get more bark on the outside when you're, when you're doing that. If you've got that other piece on there, you're kind of cheating yourself from a little exposure to the smoke and then the okay. seasonings as well. Um, you can get these at the grocery store. Uh, there's going to be some trimming involved. You can see this one's got a, a pretty big fat cap on there. So we're going to take some of that fat off. We want to get this down to a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch. Because you still want that fat for a oh, yes. bit of flavor. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so I'll see if I cannot cut my hand off on TV. That might be bad. <laughs> we'll have it on TV. <laughs> We'd be good for the insurance company. Um, now I'm going kind of slow here. You can see how much I took off on, on this one. So we're going to set that aside. I'm just going to trim nice and easy this way. You like to have the fat on there too. Uh, anything exposed is going to dry out a little bit. Okay. So as moist and delicious as we can keep that, All the better right. off you're going to be. So now we've trimmed the fat. What secret ingredients, if you can tell us, are you going to add to get it ready for the smoker? Well, uh, I can't tell you the secret ingredients, but I'll, I'll tell you what we do. So we're going to rub this. We're going to get a nice coating of brown sugar on there. Um, it's going to be absolutely delicious. We're going to use some brisket rub. Um, you can get brisket rub at the store. You can find recipes on the internet. You can use your favorite. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, we're going to top it off with black pepper and then from here it's going to go right into the smoker. How long are people looking for? You know, um, the brisket, part of the magic of a brisket, it takes a little bit longer to do. Uh, so we're going to set a timer for about four hours uh, at 225 degrees. At four hours we're going to check it. If you hit 160, 165 degrees, you're going to take this and you're going to wrap it in some heavy duty foil. That's going to save uh, the juices that come off of there. Um, it's going to keep it nice and moist. Uh, wrap it in your foil, continue to smoke it. Um, I would check it in two hours and then maybe every hour after that, depending on your temperature. You want this to hit 195 degrees. If you don't, it's going to be tough and it's going to be chewy. And it'll be like um, cow flavored bubble gum, which is not that famous. Not the yeah, best kind yeah. of bubble gum. No, no, no. Um, no, probably not. Well, they say good things take time. So this is the finished product here. Do you have just one more step? I do. I'm going to put on a fresh glove, if you don't mind. Now, this one I've taken out of the foil. It's been in the smoker for about 10 hours now. Um, I've got some of this lovely juice that, that poured off of there. And we're going to cut into this, and we're going to try it. Awesome. We've got, the, we've got this nice bark over here. This brown sugar is caramelized. I'm just going to slice right into this. Oh, my. <laughs> Look at that. We've got the, the fat trim there. We've got a nice smoke ring around the outside. This is going to be fabulous. And uh, we could just use nice thin slips, strips rather. Cut it nice and fine. This will be good for, um, you can put it right on your plate and you can take it and sit down and watch the game. You can uh, make sandwiches with that even. You can chop it up, you can put it on sandwiches. Yeah, it's absolutely delicious. You give her a shot? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's going to be a little bit warm. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> we'll be right back after this break. You almost dropped it, didn't you? <laughs>